Hello students, in our last class we discussed about double decomposition reaction or double displacement reaction and we have seen the two types of double displacement reaction that was precipitation and neutralization reaction and we have seen the example as well. Now today we are going to see how a neutralization reaction takes place. Okay, so this is an activity. In this it has been shown that how neutralization reaction has taken place. Say for example, the materials required in this case are sodium hydroxide solution, which is a base, phenethylene solution, which is an indicator, so change in color in different solutions, dilute hydrochloric acid, then we have got red and blue litmus paper, a B rate, a conical flask, a pipette, and a clamping stand. Okay, now. Over here, there is an arrangement for this. In this, in the conical flask, in the conical flask, this is the conical flask, and this is the B rate. In the conical flask, we have taken 5 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid and we have added phenethylene solution. And phenethylene indicator in dilute hydrochloric acid is a colorless solution. And in the B rate, we have kept sodium hydroxide. Now, what we'll do is we'll just open this tab so that sodium hydroxide from the burit start flowing to the conical flask. You'll observe that you'll observe that after adding sodium hydroxide, the color of the solution will start changing into light pink color. When the light pink color after seeking does not disappear then that is the end point or we call neutralization that means at that time it has been completely neutralized okay so this is the procedure as I have explained over here in this we have seen that a neutralization has taken place a neutralization reaction has taken place between the two reactants since the solution obtained is neither acidic or basic in nature now when you test that solution which is a light pink color it will be neither acidic nor basic you can change uh, you can check with the litmus paper next our today's topic is some practical applications of neutralization reaction in our daily life okay say for example we know that sometimes we feel indigestion or we call uh, gastric or we call gastritis and that is due to say for example if you take oily and spicy foods then there is chance of getting um, this gastric problem our stomach produces hydrochloric acid which helps in the digestion of food okay. now during indigestion what will happen say for example if the presence of oil is excess then the stomach produces too much acid which causes which causes pain and irritation at that time we generally take an antacids that means that will decrease the acid quantity that will decrease the acid quantity they are called antacids which are recommended by doctors under the name known as milk of magnesia which is a magnesium hydroxide and it is often used for this purpose sodium bicarbonate or baking soda can also be used at this time we frequently use enoanol that will neutralize the uh, acid that is produced in our body that is first application the second is soil treatment soil plants require mostly neutral soil for their healthy growth as we know if the soil becomes too much acidic due to rain water uh, then then the production of the crops can be decreased decreased so in order to maintain the neutrality of the soil a limestone we can say the liming of soil we call the process liming of soil farmers generally use lime calcium hydroxide calcium oxide and calcium carbonate to neutralize acidic soil so that the soil neutrality is maintained and crops are grown in a better production that is the second application let's 
as a second application next uh, i have given these uh, questions in your assignment check your progress so you'll be doing that thing next we have to discuss is activity series of metal in what is activity series of metal so actually it is a list of metals where the metals are arranged according to their decreasing reactivity say for example this table if you see starting from potassium till platinum okay uh, potassium sodium calcium magnesium aluminium zinc iron nickel tin lead hydrogen copper um, mercury silver gold platinum okay these are the metals which are arranged according to the decreasing reactivity that means the metals at the top they are most reactive and the metals at the bottom they are least reactive okay this is called activity series of metal this also helps to find out which metal can displace which 